Tanya, you're a secure coding expert. Vibe coding is all the rage at the moment. Can I vibe code and put my code on the internet? You can if you want to have a really bad day. Instead, I would suggest that you vibe code and then you ask the AI to review it for vulnerabilities. If you can, if you have a static analysis tool or a software composition analysis tool, if you could run that as well so it could check for vulnerabilities and then please fix things if you find them. Don't just say, okay, now I know and then just you know, publish anyway. I feel like with the right prompts, you can get much better code and then the right checks, you can have quite good code. I think it's been lost with all the hype about Vibe coding. If you put your apps out there, it's likely that they're going to get hacked. Um, or yes. attacked, should I say. Yes, I, I feel like um, a lot of companies right now have things on the internet that are very insecure and the only reason they haven't successfully been attacked is because no one's noticed them yet. Yeah. And so you don't want to do your security as security by obscurity. Yeah. You want to have real defenses and that means hardening your code. I would like to shamelessly suggest people read my book on secure coding or other books. There's several good books about secure coding. That will help a lot because then you know what to look for when you review the code. So if you use vibe coding, make sure you read it after and you fully understand it. And you think, I'm proud of this before you press the publish button. So Tanya, I just got your books. Which one should they read? Um, so if you write code, you should definitely read this one. If you want to build a security program, you should read that one. 